Hey y'all, so this is about our homeschool struggles. How did homeschool come about? She's in the autism center 40 hours a week. And one day they said she doesn't know colors anymore. She used to know colors or they thought she knew colors and now she doesn't know colors. And the autism center is not a school. You know, you really got to put that, you know, it's ABA and it's not a school. So they don't have a curriculum that they have to follow or think she has to learn. There, I mean, she is learning. Like, don't get me wrong. But it's not like to the kindergarten, preschool, first grade level kind of learning. So I was like, okay. I was excited for her to start school this year. It didn't happen. What am I going to do? Because I still want her to get this educational component, right? So, me and her start working on colors. Now the chick know her colors. She knows her colors. Sometimes it's a little prompting, but I'm convinced she knows her colors. So we started working on other things too, like I wanted her to learn that the Pex picture is also, you can spell it. So if you look at a cat, you can spell cat. And it'd be the same thing. So they're working on that at the autism center. I fought for that too. And I do it at home. But you know, so she can copy. Like if it if it's a cat and it has C-A-T under it, she can't copy. So eventually to pull that back for her to spell cat on her own to get that. That's where we're at with that. And um my thing is uh in filming my homeschooling and putting it out to the world in my like 25 autism groups which I have to be very careful because I can't promote myself like I can't promote my channel or and all this I'm just putting it out there to share not just for me to share like I'm all-knowing I am not an elementary school teacher I have no education background in education you know my background is business so and I'm not really that great with kids. I, I seem to be okay with my kid, but uh, so I put it out there for help. You know, not over, like I did get a little sensitive with the overwhelming criticisms in some groups, but pretty much most of them have been very sweet, very nice, and very helpful. A woman reached out to me, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know if she wants me to, and she's part of the autism like therapy community and she gave me like tons of worksheets she like set up a google um what was it a google doc for me and gave me a whole bunch of worksheets matter of fact she was telling me about a website i need to ask her about it anyway so she set that up and she she just it was great because I was at a loss, you know what I'm saying? And I started to incorporate her worksheets, like she had a scavenger hunt and stuff like that. And we started incorporating that stuff. So also I noticed when you present on social media, it's bad to say, but you can't present the distress or the crying or the any of that, right? And I'm gonna hate to say it, that goes with it. But you can't really present it because people are very sensitive to those things. Me as mom, I can't be as sensitive to those things. Do I want my child to cry? No, I don't. But then I also know is the crying because she doesn't want to do it? Or is the crying because she's having a sensory overload or whatever? 95% of the time with Ava, it's just she doesn't want to do it. So when um, the health crisis happened, um, and ABA was done at home after I worked a 40 hour week I had to get on a zoom call and do ABA with her um, through the autism center right she cried for the first two weeks like the first week she didn't want to do it she's home she wants to play with her tablet that's it I'm done I'm home this is tablet time you know they're all about what they do when and where and um, after two weeks of the crying and the, the tantrums and the rolling on the floor, she would sit at the table and do some work. So that's when I really realized that I have to get through the hard times to get her attention, to get to let her know that we're doing this. Like regardless if you like it or not, I'm not here because I'm trying to placate you. I'm trying to get you to the next level. And now she tends to be more accepting of us doing it. 
I am overdoing it. I done bought so many things. Like, it's ridiculous. And it's kind of like piled up in the corner. And sometimes she gets to it, which I'm not happy about because I need it kind of, I need to organize it actually. I'm going to work on that. Um, and we work on different things. And the funny thing is, homeschool is not hours of grueling labor. I don't even have hours, honestly. Um, I try to do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it usually seems to be 20 minutes on the bad days to like an hour and a half on a good day. Like when she's really attentive and we're kind of knocking things out. Or even if she's crying a little, I still just keep going, you know, because sometimes the next activity she's more into. And she's still willing even if she's crying a little bit. Like, so it's not like I'm dragging her to the table or anything, but it is not an easy thing. So right now i don't feel like i feel like she's at preschool level like that's what she's at she got the colors she can identify numbers she can identify letters but at the autism center they've gotten her to spell her name with prompting and stuff like that so i feel like we're on the road there's definitely she's definitely bright you know it, there's I, I'm still caught up that I don't feel like she's intellectually disabled. I feel she's delayed. Now, how that plays in, I don't know. Um, we are eventually going to get a neuropsych and find out where she's at. But not right now. Anywho, so with homeschool... I'm just doing the best I can. I just try to work on activities, make sure she's using her speech device. Device. It's a Nova Chat. If anybody wants to know, I get that question a lot. And I work on her speech device a lot. You um, know, I try my best to use the speech device myself, like not just make her mad. I guess that's the biggest thing I've learned in talking to people um on facebook that it's not just you do this you do this you do this it's more of a communication back and forth so that's you know what i try to do also um i'm no longer having expectations to where i thought she'd be or i wish she'd be and i'm trying to just accept where we at <laughs> right now and that's that in in september she will be starting school yeah, autism, I'm strong. Yeah. Do anything for her, baby, you know that it's so amazing. Yeah, autism, I'm strong. Uh -huh. Every day.